The LA County Sheriff says he has taken unprecedented action to crack down on deputies who are members of cliques or gangs inside the Sheriff's Department. 26 deputies linked to one such group in East LA may now face suspension or firing, and deputies tied to another group in Compton being investigated as well. NBC4's investigative reporter Eric Leonard with the story. We are holding our employees accountable to the rule of law, and I will not tolerate any group of employees who mistreats any member of the community. As one example, the sheriff has announced more than two dozen employees could be suspended or fired for an off-duty fight in 2018, tied to a deputy clique called the Banditos that allegedly controlled the East L.A. Sheriff Station. This week, we are delivering 26 letters of intent to suspend or terminate. The sheriff says he's replaced the station captain and transferred 36 deputies to new assignments, but there are other deputy groups in other parts of the county. If it really is a new leaf, the sheriff's department's turning over it as the sheriff says it's historic. Inspector General Max Huntsman says deputy gangs have been a long problem and while he says he's encouraged by today's announcement he says there's more the sheriff could do to discourage deputies from joining groups like these. There are many of these groups in the sheriff's department but there aren't an infinite number. So, so that they have a means to do something about it other than just saying, well, I have to wait till they punch somebody. The latest focus is on a group at the sheriff's station in Compton that's called the Executioners. Members are branded with tattoos like this of a skull wearing a Nazi-style helmet and shown with a rifle. Recently, a deputy at the station filed this legal claim that he was being harassed and had his hours cut for speaking up against the group. These guys aren't Boy Scouts. These are very, very dangerous. Civil rights attorney John Sweeney says he first learned of the executioners during a lawsuit in 2018. He says the new legal claim from the Compton deputy suggests members of the group regularly break rules and laws. The executioners, anyway, have done a lot of bad, and they have committed crimes, and they have terrorized uh, the Compton community.